Hello everybody, it is I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pac-Man World Repack. Last episode, we pretty much completed the other two levels here, uh, in the, in the, uh, in the mansion area. Uh, creepy catacombs and, uh, whatever one here. We saved, uh, let me save here. As you may see, we saved all the family members. So, there's only one thing left to do. I'm coming for you, talk man. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna bother talking about this, but uh, well, there he is. There's talk man. I, I find how I like how weird Pac-Man walked uh, in that shot there. Wow, it's Pac-Man! Who would have guessed? It's almost. I, you know, I, I see I, I see what Pac-Man's problem here with uh, I see I see a problem here with, with Pac-Man's imitation Pac-Man. He doesn't have a nose. Alrighty, so. So, Talkman is the only fight I spoiled myself on in this game. And honestly, I like this boss fight better than the original. So, here's the thing. In the original... In the original... Uh... Talkman just imitates your moves. So, you know, he'll throw... He'll throw, uh... In the original, he throws, uh... He throws, uh, what do you call it? Uh... Though, like, pack, pack bullets, uh, he'll butt bounce and he'll, uh, do the red roll. And then, and then if your health gets low enough, ow, get back here. Oh, they still kept us in! Nice! They kept it in! Nice! Alrighty! I, uh, I legitimately... Didn't even, if, didn't even realize, cause, cause the only version of this boss fight I saw was the uh, was the damage list one. Ow. All right, you know what? There we go. So in the original, so I was about to say in the original, uh, your family members, if you get if your health is low enough, they'll throw uh, health items to you. I'm not doing a good job with this false fight here. There we go. There we go. You can do it, master. Yeah, so, glad they kept this in. Because I was about to say, they would have made this false fight a lot more challenging, but now, but now I, I can probably, I can play a bit more like a moron and still get away with it. <laughs> Alright then. There we go. Yep, so Yeah, so now you could argue that, that phase one is like the uh, uh the original phase one where he just throws the pack pellets at you. But this is how they change up the boss fight. Uh he goes he turns metal, so he can't really deal deal damage to him. I mean they they still have the butt bounce uh attack, so in a way they still kinda kept in the uh the fact that he copies her moves. But then he does this. Uh, basically, just uh, fires a bunch of cannonballs and a metal and metal. Uh... Okay, you sir must die. Oops. Ah, three three hits is still decent. And now I can't really do anything to him, so I'm just going to... Woo! I do not know if that's supposed to be a command grab or not, but... Regardless, I dodged it. Uh, but yeah. So, it... Yeah, so honestly, I'm just waiting for him to decide, uh... To jump back up, fire the cannons, that sort of thing. There we go. This time it doesn't show you the cutscene because it already done it once. 
die. I also like that all dog miss attacks can also kill the skeletons. Which which means the skeletons are honestly nothing but a nuisance. Like that. Oh wow. Immediately? You know what? Works for me. This honestly works for me. Ow. Me. Ow. Yep, there we go. Middle pellet. Did they say pellet? I meant pellet. Whatever. Yep. Yeah, that, once you get to Mel's room, that, that part of the fight is kind of trivial because you can just point blank uh, right for him. And then, uh, for the third phase, he just kind of eats the power pellet and grows big. So they kind of just removed the whole red roll uh, part of this fight. But then... So, what would you do if you had to face a giant? Well, obviously, attack the feet! Just like that. Uh, you hurt... Uh, and then you... You, uh... You hit his... You hurt his feet so hard he has to fall down. Giving you a perfect chance to bong on his head. And this, now they made this. Now they made it so you don't you don't have to do this multiple times, only like three times, which is fine by me. Because then you have to hit the feet each time. You stop. Ow. Oh. Oh, he kept the rev roll. Pack baby is adorable. All right. Anyway. Uh, so at least they kept. I didn't realize because most of the footage I saw of this boss fight. There we go. Might might have been better if I just uh, started using the uh, the pellets. There we go. There we go. That was way easier than trying to do the butt bounce. And with that, that's pretty much the fight. Yeah, I'm done with ya. <laughs> and, you know, there, there should have been a sound effect there, but, you know, whatever. And then a quick time event. And I am now bigger than you. Oh. And then uh, Pac-Man explodes. And that's that. That's Pac-Man World, everyone. And I have to say, it's quite a trip. That was quite a trip. I had a. L I was getting a lot of nostalgia, a lot of happiness for all the good changes, a lot of anger from all the uh, negative changes. What, for example, here's one of them. They did not. So this ghost's name is, is, is uh, Orson. I think that's what his name is. Uh, if I got it wrong, I'll just put the correct name uh, in post-edit uh, while editing. But, but yeah. And then uh, they decided to add a, uh, a good ending where you forgive the ghost. Uh, what, what, what happens in the original ending? Pagman just heartlessly, heartlessly eats him. It's fucking hilarious. And, the th and you want to know what the thing is? Uh, the bad ending... Uh, in the bad ending, if you do not save all the family members, you just you just flat out eat them. And all the ghosts are just forced to uh, return your family members. So at least they kept the original ending in there. But... But this is me we're talking about. I have to go for the, uh, for the good ending. Especially when in the ori- Especially when in the original. In the original game, you had to uh, save all the family members to get to the final boss anyway. Where at least it's, where in this game it's optional. So I did it just just because that's what I would have done in the original anyway. Because like I said in the, in the uh, beginning of the let's play, I was planning on doing the original, and then Namco announced the remake. So I decided to hold off, wait for the remake to come out, and then rest is history. But. 
despite despite all the happiness, despite all the sadness, despite all the anger, and despite all the uh, craziness, I had a blast. And honestly, oh sh oh shoot, oh I get I still get to play already then. But yeah, despite all despite all of it, I I had a blast, and I think that's all that matters. As long as I had fun at the end of the day, I think that's. I think that's I think I think that's all that matters, honestly. And I uh, and I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did watching this. Uh, now, now, in terms of how good this remake is, I think again, I'm gonna say this again. I think it's I think this is definitely an improvement from the original. Like, they did improve a lot of things. They did make some a few changes that I am not quite a, quite so fond with. Uh, like, not quite so fond with, but, uh... But what can, I, what can I say? Like, what else is there for me to say about it, you know? Like... Now, in terms of, like, uh, difficulty... Like, I think this game, they, def they definitely made the difficulty of this game a bit easier. Like, they added some mechanics to make it easier. They added easy mode. So, so hey, if, but, so hey, if you want to play in easy mode, uh, more power to you. I, however, I came, I came here to play Pac-Man World, like it was originally intended, uh, the normal way, not easy mode. And, and, uh, and honestly, the fact that uh, the fact that the only times I had trouble, <coughs> like in terms of regular levels, the fact that I only had trouble in like the last, like, like I started like actually legitimately having trouble the third level of the clown area, which is honestly, in, and in my opinion, I think that's where I think that's where that I I can agree with the difficulty spiking like that because you're like you're pretty much halfway through the game. The game should definitely get difficult from there. Uh, one thing that I don't agree with is like, like I'm fine with the Anubis Rex fight. I mean, like, it's the only one I had trouble with. But I think it's, I think they made it a tad bit more difficult than it really needs to be, considering this is the first, considering this is the first one of, this is one of the first three bosses. Like, if you really want to, you could just ignore the Pyro World and go for the, uh, the Runes World first. Like, I think, like, I think that's a bit too much. Espe especially when, like, especially when, uh, huh, I missed, I missed an R, a P, and a Y. Not bad still. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. I mean, like, considering the last three worlds, the boss fight was literally a race, uh, a really challenging fight, and then, and then, I mean, the final boss fight, it, I mean, they made it a tad bit difficult, but I mean, I feel like it's almost the same difficulty as, uh, as the original boss fight. So yeah, that's that. 82% of the game. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, what is, so what else is there to do after you beat the game? Well, there's original mode. And this is just the arcade game. Shadow, Blinky, Speedy, Pinky, Bashful, Inky, Pokey, Clyde. And I mean, like, what else is what, what else? What else is there to say? It's literally, it's just fucking Pac-Man. So yeah, that's that. That's basically about it. But yeah, uh, at the at the end of the day, I had a good time doing this let's play. It was a blast, uh, and and if you guys watched this from the very beginning, I'd like to thank you for stick for sticking around, seeing uh, seeing all the uh, seeing all the all the fun moments, all the uh, uh, all the angry moments I had. I, I would like to give my uh, heartfelt thanks to all of you for. For watching, uh, for watching this let's play. Uh, with that being said, uh, 
I don't know. I do not know what what the, I do not know what the next let's play I'm gonna do. I'll be honest. I'll be legitimately honest. I don't know what I'm planning on doing next. So ex probably expect another mini let's play uh, uh, to fill in the time. Uh, but with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next let's play, whether it's a mini or a regular one. Regardless, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I hope you guys have a nice. Uh, I hope you guys have a nice uh, a day, night, whatever. And I, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.